I'm gonna hit the wound. <laughs> oh, no! Why? I'm gonna stop there. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's so cold, I can't feel my nipples. My nipples are now ice cutters. I'm keeping my jacket on, it's too cold. Too take this to off, bro. Do an intro in it, bro. Want to? Want to test things. Want to test things. <laughs> do not do the no. Whatever no. you do, don't do this accent on your thing. You cannot shake the wrist. No, don't do this. And do this. And don't do definitely this. don't do this. Do this. Can you see this? <sighs> show, show more central heating. <laughs> And it is freaking freezing. So we thought, what are the main twingy twongies that you get in the freaking freezingness? Even if you live in the heat, you might get these twingy twongies. And that is shoulder head impingement. No, that's not the word for it. Pressing impingements. Now, whether you're new to overhead press or you are a seasoned lifter, there's going to be a couple of common areas that you're going to get pain. That is going to be front of the delt. Shoulder impingement. That'll go right into the head of the humerus. Lower back, elbows. Mm -hmm. Sometimes wrists, with everything from the corrections to the massage, we're going to show you how to fix this and we're going to see how this improves my lift from now, unworked on, raw form, to after the massage, using Mitch's form. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be taking a look today at the overhead press, something we should all be getting stronger at and better at because it's actually quite a functional movement. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine if a fridge fell on your nana, how are you going to get that off? We've covered the squat, we've covered deadlift, now you've got overhead press and nanas say raw strength if you can overhead press a lot of weight raw strength that is we're talking about standing overhead press free with a bar you're using all of the chain of the body from the feet up which all need to be stable and strong to do that movement so this is an important movement you should be doing and luckily my brain is stupid enough to ignore everything he's about to say let's crack on freestanding rack this is our olympic bar which rocks in at 20 kilos there is no chair there's just a floor where your feet go so you can stand and press mm -hmm. <laughs> first step is to ditch the shoes they Sorry, are but, not shoes they're pretty cool though. they are not shoes right an overhead press is a full body movement if there's no stability then we get injured you go in close you're going to hit way more on that front now and try okay you go out wider, we're going to start hitting that lateral doubt. It doesn't matter where you go, there's an important cue you need to know, understand. Thoracic extension, elbows tucked like this. Thoracic extension and external rotation of the humerus. If you have no thoracic extension, what happens is the chest will collapse, which then puts the shoulder in a position of injury because now when we lower the bar, we're doing this, which gets internal rotation of the shoulder. Walk towards the bar, shoulders back, thoracic extension. Touch the bar. Scoop, watch the elbows on the niche. I'm like this now. Why I say it's a full body movement. Toes in, glutes tight, core tight, back tight. There he stabilizes. Problem as well you'll see a lot of time is tucking those elbows back, do that. That's what a machine or a supporting mechanism will allow you to do. And if you perform those bad habits, when you come onto this, you do the same thing and blowy. Now watch, head out the way. I'm gonna press, there's a straight line. Head through the barbell. We're moving the straight line. You get out of the way. We do not do this. Because now look at my positioning. Yeah, okay? Yeah, that's super common. Super common. Love to see the bar, so what they do is this. Now I create the leverage away from my shoulders, which is destroying my shoulders. We have to tuck. Boom. The reason why people get lower back pain in the overhead press is because they're not squeezing their glutes. Then when we press above our head, we create spinal compression. We put load through here. If I squeeze my glutes, I now can rotate my pelvis in, so now it's neutral. Core tight to stabilize, and now I'm in this position where I can do all day here. This is why we get nothing done. Right, microphone is on. Don't know why I keep doing the black country accent. I'm coming to the bar at shoulder width, step in. Oof, bring my head underneath, squeeze my glutes, come back down, I can feel some pressure in my left delt and left elbow. Whoosh. Nice, and stay there. What see, you guys can spot what's gone wrong. You see it already. He's putting tremendous amount of pressure here. It's already contracted. Okay, what he's going to do is take pressure off that by watch. Tuck your elbows for me. Now lean back, get that bar next to your clavicle. Good. So now he's 
his elbows underneath the bar in front of it. So when he drives up, he's driving backward. If you are getting wrist pain, the solution is to take this thumb off. And then you've got more room. Suicide pain. grip. You're fine though. As soon right. as that bar is overhead, we start to stabilize the core. Okay, go again. Nice, and uh, let's put some weight on. I haven't done this overhead pressing movement for many, many years outside of it being machine orientated. So the bad habits are probably developed from those machines because they do tend to push you out to the front where that load goes onto the wrong areas. You're not gonna get that on a stabilized machine because the machine does the job of the stabilizers, which are the things that are screaming at you saying, this isn't right. So we're now going to start with the load, see what breaks down on there, see if I get any more intense pains, and then obviously fix it. I'm gonna press it my way again. I'm gonna ignore what Mitch said, let my body do what it wants to do. So what my body wants to do is press here, which I know is not right. And again, I feel like I'm getting rotation this way. I feel like that left shoulder's taking an absolute paggering. You can see my left shoulder hitching. If you come around to the front here, Mitch, watch my left shoulder compared to my right at the top. I'm not gonna exaggerate this, I'm just gonna press. So much closer to my ear the left shoulder is. Yeah, you can oh, see that massively. So bad. I can literally see it. Which is the bad arm. Oh, look at that, left. Yeah. <clears throat> If you're training with somebody, if you're training with a spotter, this is what you need to be looking out for. This was definitely hitching up and it's compensated for something which we're probably going to find out about in a massage. We'll find out what that compensation is, fix it, reset it, and then come back and do some pressing. So right now what we're going to do is just find the maximum load that destabilizes me here and then we'll compare it afterwards again and see how much better that lift gets. In a single, that's one simple session. 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 Okay, let's up the weight. 50. 50? Yeah. So well off that max of 82 that I did on the other day when I was healthy. Yeah. But I think you were push pressing the little bounce. Yeah, I think we were doing that, weren't we? 50 kilo doing it the way my body wants to do it with obviously being safe. Yeah, yeah that left just spits out. Do we want to go up? How'd that feel? Fine. 60, last set. Yeah, okay, yeah. We are not going to be dumbasses, okay? I have an injured arm. It's going to be no benefit for me to rip the bicep completely off just for the sake of a video, although... No, it wouldn't be any good because it'd be eight weeks of me being out and not being able to do anything for you guys. So we'll go up to 60. I think you're going to see more breakdown. I think you're going to see a bit more struggle. And, uh, and then we'll come back to that 60 again, and that'll be our comparable. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a struggle, dude. Whoops. Sorry, shouldn't talk and do it. This is why you get injured. <sighs> yeah, that left. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna stop there. Wait, 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 wait. What? Injury number uno. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> Frick, okay, so that was a good struggle point. There was a very little rest in between those sets, obviously straight in and we're cold. So I expect it's coming a lot sooner, but I think that's a really good one to be able to see difference. Should we go find out what's wrong? Yes. Mitch has gone full gangster <laughs> with it. Crystal gangster. In some more comfortable clothes for the massage. And I forgot to mention in, in that, when we just did it then, I had a little bit of a bite point in the shoulder here. But I think this is part and parcel of me going back to bench press as well. Because obviously if you watch previous videos, we've fixed it so I can get back to bench pressing, which I'm doing, which is making tricep gains. Oh, look, Mitchell, that's your work, that is. That's your work. So what we're gonna do? You should stop doing that, bro. What? <laughs> oh well, no no yes. no! It's such a nice accent, though. I'm oh, gonna start laughing. Explain where you get you get where do you get pain on this side? It's right there, the pain. Oh, you can see it like it's right on. Oh, it's right on a split. Look at that. Right. So on this one, we're only gonna hit his, his front dial and his pack. Okay. 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 I'm not gonna massage everything just so we can see that was the process of elimination. So if that disappears, it definitely was there. So this side we had, so it was hitching, yes. wasn't it? We could see that it was literally higher. Yes. Because there's an impingement on this one, then we're gonna get into his lats, his pec, his tricep, and then his shoulder, and his and literally the whole 360 really. So left or right? To start with? Yeah. Let's get straight into the pain. I think this is gonna hurt more. Let's... What's that? That's the butthole. <laughs> 
Yeah. Remember, we have the pec major, which will go into the humerus, okay? But remember, we have the pec minor, which ties into the caracal process, which is in the shoulder. Which, there. Yes. Which well, is that is. The caracal process. And that's what you just pressed on. Yes, yeah, so the attachment site. can be very painful. So you'll find it, and it's got a little bone. It's there. It's right oh, that's it. Yeah, there. no, yeah. no. Okay. Yeah. So this is like a deep attachment site. So first, let's just warm up these suckers. And these, oh, bro. Yeah. That's let's sore just, from here. Yeah. To, to the edge of my face. Why? Yeah. Because you're, Why? you're walking liability, man. <laughs> so the pec minor will lead into that. So we have to get into that as well because that can okay. pull the shoulder forward. So you're getting issues into your body as well. So we have other muscles like the caraco... No, so the... the caraco brachialis. It's such a shame we didn't get his face on camera then. <laughs> caraco, caraco brachialis. Brachialis is, is attached into the humerus. Okay. Yeah, it's a very small muscle inside here. These little muscles all go into the shoulder and they can help pull it forward. So we're going to lose it the opposite. We pick up the whole pec like this. This is one of the underrated movements you can do is just pick up that whole pec, getting your thumb underneath like that, and just oh. throwing that sucker around. And it moves his whole arm, look. All we want to do is improve that mobility. But that whole that area shoulder. is like bruised, sore feeling. Like it's not as if there's one pinpoint. It's the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the sore. whole thing. So I think that's more common. It's going to be more common with people who are either upgrading their bench press or have just started doing that or maybe started a new movement. These are the type of things that are going to happen. These are much more maintenance issues yeah. than an actual any injury. So the glenohumeral, okay, will catch the joint up around this area from here. From about 20 degrees up to about That's 70, sort of yeah, just yeah. about 70 degrees. Feel like my hand. You, yeah, you'll get issues. If it goes up into up here, it's called the subacromial. Now I can feel it on the shoulder. Okay, up in the shoulder. So what's going on is, here, when that shoulder moves at 20 to 70 degrees, you can catch there. Any higher is then called subacromial impingement, okay? It's been a while since I've actually talked about that. The terminology might not be right, but I am right in what I'm saying. <laughs> and if you get it in the shoulder press, it's mostly coming from at the top. As well, you'll, hear, just... you'll feel it catch at the top. Last bit, this is irre irrelevant to you. If a soft tissue massage doesn't cure, cure the issue, Okay, and all your rehab hasn't cured the issue. You could potentially have a bone spur. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Well, what happens is when you move the humerus, okay, it will catch off the bone spur, which causes massive aggra aggravation. You will need an operation on that. Yeah. Keyhole surgery to shave it down, okay? So that's something to get checked out. So go get a scan in your shoulder. But before you do that, we need to do all this work. If none of that works, then go to that stage. We're massaging the whole thing here, so getting to his pec, his pec minor as well here, okay? So, here, look, running through like this. And then what we can do, we can get into the pec fly as we move. So watch, we can press into this, like this. And now do a fly. So he brings his elbow in, then out. Good. There's a soft tissue release here just to loosen up that pec. Okay, what we're doing here is restoring it back to its optimal self, mobile, flexibility. And contractibility so then it what happens is it loosens up and then he has more range of motion inside his shoulder which allows his shoulder to sit back more so next we have the good old caraco brachialis and the two biceps because they go into the caraco process okay here again we spicy mama yep oh yeah there we go oh, that feels quite nice that makes a change Okay, now, now do your bicep peel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that okay. one, You come back down. Hey. Then relax. What do do? Hi. Watch. Now, let's bring this behind your back. Oh, yeah. no. You've seen this one plenty of times now. Uh. So again, so this one now will stretch out his front dart and his side dart. Okay. We'll get an impingement issue this side and walk. Yeah. <laughs> we start to hit the tendons and the nerves around here. Mama. Yeah, that's the one. That's the bit. <laughs> ah, Look, this, this, it's that one point, bro. Here's his split. So where my thumb is now, you can see it. Yeah. There's his lateral dart. There's his front dart. Okay. So going in between the muscles like this is, is a big one to help release that fascia. If fascia is stuck over here. His whole body can move. Yeah. So we can actually do stuff over here, which can help alleviate over here. So for example, if you're, if you're now at home, if you've got a t-shirt on, Get your missus to pull it from the left hand side, really tight, and then try and raise your right arm. And yeah. you'll, be, you'll be restricted. That's like how fascia works. Ah! Okay. Damn. That's, that whole area just feels nice and bruised. Now relax this for me. Right, watch. Uh -huh. 
Ball. You okay, yeah? That feels right, so floaty. Okay, then here. Terrace. What? Terrace. Major. Okay, Terrace, minor as well, and major. All right. Now we can get into this part here. This is the part that's pretty much untouched by a lot of people. This here is where you sub scap it. Yeah. Okay, and your lat will come up here as well. Oh. Watch this and watch his elbow. Look, if I press here like this, oh, yeah. it moves nice. it. Yeah. So we have to make sure this is mobile. And there's one more as well, which is his here, serratus. Okay. So all this and his intercostals need to be loosened off here. Oh, so this here, if he's in an overhead press and it's tight here, he won't really get full oh. extension. Okay. And that's why you get it yeah. itching to try and because yeah. you're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. So the only way you can do that if it's a pain is just to pull it. Yes. So what happens is look. Science. Ready? So if this is oh, tight, I do oh. extend lock out. It struggles to I lock can't. out. Yeah. That's there, if yeah. I let go, it gets more uh, rage. Yeah, yeah? yeah. So this is very important to get into, which we forget about. Roll this out. This is death here. This is death doors. So if you roll this out, so you're gonna feel it. Because <sighs> there's not much muscle mass there and you've got rib cage. Oof. You go like that. Get your grab this and grab that wrist. Get that hand and grab that wrist. Pull it over. That's it. That will help me get into this now. And then we stretching it whilst oh. we get into it. Here's his serratus, and then we can get into that there. Uh, that's oh, that's that's not nice. That feels like you're moving ribs. Oh, you're just, uh, ah, okay, that's ah. Oh. So you're gonna see when we dig in. We that's 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 a weird burning armpit. Now we've sort of loosened this off, but we want to do this on the other side, okay? So we're going to do more on, on this side, but basically we have addressed your issue you're getting here. And we'll retest that at the end, but now you have a second shoulder. So we're just going to flip reverse what we've just done on to the side and see if I make different noises. That's a really northern British attempt at an accent, by the way. Yep, yeah, off in tip town! Just do your right one up over your head. Yeah, now do your left. Nice. Oh, okay. you can see. So it's an imbalance here. Look at the difference. You can okay. even see it from just right. that peg. So there's an imbalance here already. Okay, so do not speak. Watch. We've got Titus here, here, and this is what his issue is in here. But here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, like, this is uh, horrendous. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so we'll come back to that in a minute. That's... Let's do his pet first. You know, like when you were little and you had that uncle that didn't know the pressure of how to tickle a kid? That's, and they just used to hurt you. Yeah. That's what that felt like. So watch in. At least I'm making chest gains. <laughs> oh, pop, pop, pop. Pop. Oh, freaking hell. Shikamala. Huh? Shikira. <laughs> now let's get into his peck. Minor. Coming in. Oh, freaking hell, then. Now he's here. Watch. Now you're going to rotate this down to me. Are they what? Oh. Well, I, I, I don't feel like I was ever this involved earlier on in these series. This is near. Oh, that's easy. There you go. Hey. Then relax. Okay. Good. Nods. Uh, oh, that's that's so much slower than the other side. Just start with 100% of tension, tension muscle. There's his body. Look. It's there. Look. Okay. You've got a deep muscle in here, which is tender. So watch. This will go into his process here. Yes. Yeah. Right. Ah! Oh, what was that? That's it there. <laughs> That, if you like my hand. Now watch, do your bicep curl. There is nerves here, so be very careful going around this area. Good, come down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you might be seeing split now, watch. You'll see it with your vein. <laughs> we're hitting the women. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was nice and horrible all at once. The arms above your head. So it's dropped. And you do that again, look. Now reach for the sky as hard as you can. This is what needs to be loose here, okay? Yeah. To allow him to have that overhead press. Here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just do the straightest first. <sighs> then we're gonna do what? grab that wrist. Pull it over. Okay, but Lex, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh that's horrible. Oh that's getting hot. Where's, yeah. Oh that's burning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like, oh, it's getting hot. Oh, that's burning. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Take out all your lube. <laughs> so now what you'll do, watch, is now, just going to clamp it down. So now do the shoulder press, come down the elbow, and then straight up to the sky. Really far up, really flay, but it's got to come back. Because my fingers go down again. Yeah. Up, oh, high, good, come down again. Up, oh, high, then relax. Oh. You were, were you on the rugby team at school? Yeah. You used to rub DP 
DP. DP, DP on your balls, bro. Oh my god, that's the worst. That ah, this is what that feels like. Ah. Okay, so oh. not watch. <sighs> His elbow's out. Yeah. Yeah, and now pull over to me. No, no. Why? <laughs> go, 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 motherfucker. Uh. There you go, up over. Not oh. Bloody hell. You can you see him all move here? Go again. Do you see him oh. here? Go again. Oh. Relax for me. Oh. They're pretty even now. Bring your elbows towards your ears. There you go, good. So, you see all this starts to move? Stay here for me. This is not going to be nice. <laughs> go again. Yeah. You see, watch his, watch his arms look. Hey. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you see how I've controlled through this muscle here? Ah, all right, I'm going to get some scars. <laughs> see this oh. one here, you can just feel it's tighter. And then watch, you'll do this, and oh. eventually they'll start to unlock. You see how controlling his whole arms from his scat, though? That is mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally fully relaxed. Now watch, no, watch this. Oh, oh. No. Shake it up a little bit. Okay, oh. now arms above your head. That will open nice, okay? Oh yeah. So all this is neutral, his chest doesn't raise up too high, which is good. If his chest starts to raise up really high, you get overcompensation through his spine. Yeah. Here, look. Let your arm go over like that. There's his rotator cuffs here, yeah? So he's got his bone here, oh. his scap, okay? His rotator cuffs at the uh, posterior side will go this way. He's got his teres minor, which goes this way, but runs round. Okay, to the front of the humerus. Yeah. Okay, but you've got the infraspinatus here oh. and the teres minor. Watch when they contract. So when these contract, it will pull to this for me, and these will work here. They go out this way, and that is how you these they will rotate the humerus here. Up over your head for me. We want this this to be touching here, which is good, but you can get into it here. But you've got to remember, like we said before, the lat. As well ties into the humerus, so we have to get into this as well. Okay, this is the last part because when he does his overhead press, he locks it out. This needs to be mobile. He is getting chicken burns when the wax on there. <laughs> chicken burns, yeah. What's a chicken burn? Chicken burn, chicken burn. When you do that, that's a Chinese burn. Chinese burn. <laughs> <laughs> I always put chicken burn. Why? I don't know. Breaking a chicken's neck, <laughs> yours is way more vicious. <laughs> Or the vegans are slugged off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is this is the big juicy lap which runs down. Okay, right down here. So we're gonna try and get into all this here. We see there's a scap look, so I'm gonna round it like this. Because the lap will go through this way. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's why that. when you do a lap pull down, you don't wanna bring your elbows in. We wanna keep them out wide, and then he pulls it down and it that part there, and they'll pull the squeeze here. We'll do this part, get to his trap just for the viewers. Come oh, on, there, this here. Up here. There, there, there. Yeah, you have What's that? your serratus, anterior and posterior serratus. Oh, it's the serratus again. Oh, so that has been a problem. This is deep, deep muscle, this is here. <laughs> okay. Oh, that sucks. So now, all this, this is going to be nice. No, 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 warning off. <laughs> Put this behind your back. Oh, I, none of these are ever good for me. <laughs> this also pops out his rear doubt. You can get into here. Oh. It's quite nice to get into. But this will come this way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ready? No. What for? Yeah. And this is what's painful here. Also, if your trap overdevelops, okay, and you're not going to eat your lats, it's because the shoulder has popped up a little bit, which take, this takes over here. We have to keep the shoulder down so the lat can contract. People think their shoulders are out of balance, it's not. They've got one massive trap. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't realise that was that tight. Oh! Oh, Ooh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good one to do, watch. Oh, you're going to do that rag thing, aren't you? Yeah. I'm just going to pull down. Oh, no! Oh, that's horrible. Ugh. 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 See there, look. Oh, yeah, that's not that. fuck here. Is that my aorta? <laughs> oh, is that just one big knot? No, I'm just trying to loose up the track. Ah, so this needs to be nice oh. and loose. Oh, right there, what's that? That's like a speed bump. There, look. Yeah. This is tight, his neck. It's here. Oh. I think what we'll do for that, though, we'll do a neck video. Oh, somebody, did, somebody did ask. 
Yeah. For a next video with weird words that I didn't understand. But, like, you see what's going on though? So we're trying to dress his shoulder, and now we get to his trap, and then we get to his neck. You see it's all linked. We're going to end it there, test okay. his mobility, and go back to the overhead press. And then we'll get you another video on this one. Overhead. Yeah, fucking hell. hell this yeah. is way better now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Bloody hell. So you see what's happened though? We got into the back of him. Got into his rotator cuffs, okay? His serratus, okay? His subscaps. Um, his pec minor, his bicep, his bicep brachialis, okay? We started getting to his trap as well, but look at that movement now. So he's got crazy range of motion on this one now. Reassess in the gym. That feels like no pain. Six minutes we saw before, which included a wobble and a press. I realized that I was able to tuck. Then I was like, oh yeah, that feels nice. No bite in my right shoulder. His wrist will sit as close to his shoulder as it can, which saves this. As soon as this comes out this way, game over. It's not uncool to use these guys. If this thing shifts an inch, you're changing the whole central point of the bar. That's gonna cause you some problems. Okay, they're they, they find that center. Now what you're gonna do here is squeeze his ass, lock this in, and then squat down a little bit, get your neck in it, now tuck your elbows, and then he lifts out from there. Now lean back and press. Cool. Nice. Okay. I could keep going because we're cold. I'm not going to, but we have to go heavy though to see a breakdown. Well, there is any breakdown. There was a little wobble on the first one, yeah. then I repositioned it because I released the glutes, and then after that. I got the eyeballs from Mitch and it's set in. You look like, it's just okay. <laughs> when that little wobble went forward, my eyes were like. <laughs> <laughs> there we have physical proof. Not only did I get double the amount of reps whilst cold, I could have done another one or two reps definitely as well. But again, being cold and being sensible. We, we do have to film these where we come straight out of the massage room, straight into here to lift because otherwise it'd be unfeasible. But really, you should have some time between. So this will only get better from now to when I come to this full training session with proper buildings, proper warm-ups. So the impingement was coming between these muscle groups here. And that was because this was rolling forward slightly. So when this was lifting up, this was all getting jammed up and jacked up because it wasn't able to extend. So now we've released all this, it allows that to extend. And that's why we saw a better press yeah. on there. That's why we got less pain on here because the weight's not getting shoved over. As soon as you bring that in and tuck it, you need an overhead press, but you need to be here because you're lifting heavy ass weight now. It's yep. overhead press, it's compound, it's not just a dumbbell. The maintenance is still required with the massage, but the pain that I received could have been avoided by making sure these little things and details when lifting the bar were in place all the time. And what happened is I was just started like muscling through, which is admirable. If you're in there muscling through, fair play to you, but you will get hurt. So checklists, are you doing it? Are you locking them in? Are they staying locked in? That's the biggest thing. Yeah because it's easy to get in when you're under that bar, but the moment the stress comes in, fucking you go back to that, that mechanism you created where everything gets loosey-goosey and you just muscle through again. Take a hit on less reps. And get a mace. So show the mace, bro. You're such a tangenter. You say I'm the one with ADHD. Say you had eight reps. Lose two reps to get six great reps, and eventually you'll get eight great reps rather than eight kind of like mm, ones. Because yes, you're still gonna get gains from those muscle throughs, but the chances of injury are exponentially higher. So, <laughs> we are now in 2024, which means <laughs> band movements. So, wasting your time, but now it's all about the mace. Okay, we're going back to the sword agents where we apply stability and movement. And with that, the didgeridoo <laughs> and it has two functions. We can move the didgeridoo and <laughs> And on that didgeridoo we do do this. This has been another Worst Pain. That has been Mitchell Ram. Links are in the description. Website's here to book in. Baby. 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 <laughs>